Welcome to our class. This is Hello Class. I'm your teacher, Alan. We're glad you could join our class today. I am going to the post office. Post office. That's where I buy stamps and mail packages to my friends. Sometimes the post office has a package for me. For this lesson, I need three places. The post office. Post office. The pharmacy. Pharmacy. And the beach. The beach. This is the beach. This is the post office. And this is the pharmacy. I buy stamps at the post office. I buy medicine at the pharmacy. And I swim and read books at the beach. Now, you say the word post office. Post office, you say it. Now say the word pharmacy. Pharmacy, say it again. Say the word beach. Beach. Good job. Now say all three with me. Post office, pharmacy, beach. Say all three. Post office, pharmacy, beach. Good. Here is a rule that can help you. The great thing about places is you can go there. I go to the pharmacy and I go to the beach. And today I am going to the post office. They are all places. Is the post office a place? Yes or no? Yes, I go to the post office. Is the pharmacy a place? Yes, I go to the pharmacy too. Is a stamp a place? No, I don't go to a stamp. I buy a stamp. I buy a stamp at the post office. Here's another question. Where do I buy my medicine? Right, I buy my medicine at the pharmacy. For the next part of this lesson, I need four things. A stamp. Stamp. A package. Package. My medicine. Medicine. And a book. Book. I buy stamps at the post office. I buy medicine at the right pharmacy. And I read books at the beach. Good. I mail packages at the post office. Mail means to send it away. That's right. I go to the post office, buy a stamp, and mail the package. Let's see if you remember what these are. What's this? It's a stamp. Good. What's this? 
Right, it's my medicine. What's this? It's a book. What's this? It's a package. Right now, I am going to the post office to mail this package. I will mail this package to a friend. What's in the package? It's a secret. In English, places are nouns, and nouns are very important. When we talk about familiar places like the post office, the pharmacy, and the beach, we use the word the in front of the place. The post office, the pharmacy, the beach. Say it with me. The post office, the pharmacy, and the beach. Let's say it again. All three words. The post office, the pharmacy, the beach. Good job. Now here's a whole sentence. I am going to the beach. You say it. Good. I am going to the beach. Say it again. Here is another rule. When I say I am going to the beach, that means I am going right now. Not tomorrow, not next week, right now. I am going now and I will be at the beach in a very short time. Now repeat after me. Repeat after me means I say it, then you say it. Repeat after me. I am going to the beach. You say it now. I am going to the post office. I am going to the pharmacy. Let's mix them up a little. I am going to the pharmacy. I am going to the beach. I am going to the post office. Use these sentences to answer the question, where are you going? Where are you going? Good, I'm going to the post office. Where are you going? I'm going to the pharmacy. Well done. Hi, where are you going? I'm going to the beach. Good job. Let's have a conversation. Pretend I see you on the street and we talk. I ask, where are you going? And you say, I am going to the beach. Ready? Hi, my name is Alan. Where are you going? I'm going to the beach. Very good. Try this one. Excuse me, where are you going? I am going to the pharmacy. That's correct. And where are you going? I am going to the post office. Very good. I am going to the post office too. I am going to mail this package. Can you guess what's in the package? Let's see. It's heavy. It's hard. And it's smooth. What is it? Can you guess? No, it isn't medicine. It isn't stamps. Can you guess now? Books, of course. Books are in the package. That's right. My friend is going to the beach. Well done. 
Don't go away. We'll be right back with more Hello Class. I learn English. You can also on Hello Channel. Hello and welcome. I'm Alan, your teacher. We've got a lot to learn. Today I'm going to the beach. I love the beach. Can you say beach? Beach. I love the sun and the water. I like walking on the beach and feeling the sand with my feet. Sometimes I swim, and sometimes I read a book. Book. That reminds me. Let's review a few nouns. We know this. It's a stamp. Stamp. You say it. Stamp. Say it again. This is a package. Say the word package. Package. Very good. Here is my medicine. Say the word medicine with me. Medicine. Now say it by yourself. Good. good. And this is a book. Book. You say it. Book. Let's mix these up. What's this? Right. It's a package. How about this? It's my medicine. Medicine. What do you think this is? It's a stamp, right? How about this? It's a book. Good job. Here's an easy rule. A book, a package, my medicine, and a stamp are all things. When you see the word a before a thing, it means one thing. A book is one book. A package is one package. A stamp is one stamp. Here is a little test. Is a book a thing? Yes or no? Yes, a book is a thing. Is a stamp a thing? Yes or no? Yes, a stamp is a thing too. Is a package a thing? Sure. Hear the word a before each thing. A book, a package, a stamp. Here's a harder question. Is my medicine a thing? Yes, medicine is a thing, and all things are nouns. The word my replaces the word a to show that the medicine belongs to me. It's my medicine. It's still a thing. Now you know what a thing is. That will help you speak English the right way. Here is a conversation between Juan and Maria. Juan asks, where are you going? Maria says, I am going to the beach. Listen to Juan's question. Where are you going? We know it's a question because 
it has a question mark. Juan wants to know where Maria is traveling to. So he asks her, where are you going? What do you think is the answer? Is it the pharmacy, the post office, or the beach? Right, it's the beach. Maria is going to the beach. We say the word the before these places because they are all familiar. People who live in the same town know these places. They are familiar. Say the word the before familiar places. The pharmacy, the post office, the beach. Can you say all three? The pharmacy, the post office, the beach. Now you say it. Good job. Juan asks, where are you going? And Maria says, I am going to the beach. Now you ask, where are you going? Good, say it again. Where are you going? Now you say the answer. I am going to the beach. Say it again. Good, I am going to the beach. Now I'll ask you the question, where are you going? And you answer, I am going to the beach. Where are you going? Good, I'm going to the beach. Where are you going now? I am going to the post office. Good. How about this one? Where are you going? I am going to the pharmacy. Great job. Can you remember the question? Right, it's where are you going? Ask it again. I am going to the beach. Thanks for asking. Now let's play a game. I'll show you a place and ask you a question and you answer. Where are you going? Right, you said I'm going to the post office. You might be going to mail a package. Where are you going? Good, you said I'm going to the pharmacy. Where are you going today? Good, you said I'm going to the beach. I like going to the beach too. Now, what's the question? Where are you going? That's correct. Now you ask me the question. I'm going to the beach too. We can go together. Well done. See how easy it is? Now you can answer the question, where are you going? You can ask anyone you meet this question and they will answer. That's very useful. It's fun to learn English and we have more, so stay tuned for more Hello Class. Learning English may be the biggest factor in the jobs you can get and the money you can earn. Hi, I'm Michelle, and I want to tell you about Hello Channel, an exciting new channel that teaches you English as you're watching TV. As you watch Hello Channel, you'll see, read, hear, and speak English, and before you know it, you'll be on your way to a better job and a brighter future. All you have to do is say hello.
Welcome to Hello Class. I'm Alan, your teacher. Let's get right to our lesson. This is a conversation between two people that meet on the street. One of them is going to the beach. He wants to enjoy the sun and the sand, and he wants to swim. Watch and listen. Where are you going? I'm going to the beach. What will you do there? I will swim. Listen to it again. Where are you going? I'm going to the beach. What will you do there? I will swim. The first question is where are you going? And the answer is I'm going to the beach. Ready? Where are you going? Where are you going? Good. You said, I'm going to the beach. Now you ask me, where are you going? Go ahead. I'm going to the beach. Ask me again. I'm going to the beach. The second question is, what will you do there? And the answer is, I will swim. Are you ready? What will you do there? What will you do there? Now you ask me, what will you do there? Go ahead. I will swim. Ask me again. I will swim. Now let's say the whole thing. I'll ask you first. Are you ready? Where are you going? What will you do there? Let's do it again. Where are you going? What will you do there? Now you ask me the whole thing. Start with, where are you going? Go ahead. I'm going to the beach. I will swim. Let's do it one more time. I'm going to the beach. I will swim. Great job! What will you do there? That's a question. It means, I want to know what you do at the beach. Not now, but in the future. Future means at a later time. Not now, but later. In English, we use the word will to mean in the future. I will swim. That means I will swim at the beach in the future. Listen to these three sentences. I will swim. I will buy stamps. I will buy medicine. Say them with me. I will swim. I will buy stamps. I will buy medicine. Let's try that again. Say the words as I say them. I will swim, I will buy stamps, I will buy medicine. Choose one to answer this question. What will you do at the beach? I will swim. That's the right answer. How about this one? What will you do at the post office? Good! I will buy stamps. Hey, what will you do at the pharmacy? Sure, I will buy my medicine. 
If I know you are going to the pharmacy, I can just ask, what will you do there? There means at the place. What will you do there? It's the same as saying, what will you do at the pharmacy? In this sentence, there means at the pharmacy. Let's have a conversation. You can answer with any place that you want. I will ask, where are you going? And you answer, I am going to the beach. Or, I am going to the post office. Or the pharmacy. You choose. Ready? Where are you going? Good! Excuse me, where are you going? Hmm, interesting. Hi, where are you going? That was really good practicing. Now I will ask you two questions. Look at the picture and talk about this place. Ready? Where are you going? I'm going to the beach. Good. What will you do there? I will swim. That's right. Where are you going? To the post office. What will you do there? Oh, you will buy a stamp. Now where are you going? Oh, you are going to the pharmacy. What will you do there? You will buy your medicine. Good job. You did so well today. We hope you join us next time for more Hello Class.